stuff up. It's been confirmed tonight that 12 more farmers have been caught trying to smuggle their farms out of the country. They were intercepted on a channel ferry after the crew reported clods of turf and topsoil jamming the doors to the hold. During the last month, over 400 farms have disappeared from Great Britain, particularly hard hit are Suffolk and Gloucestershire, now little more than patches of bare earth. It's not known for certain where the farms end up, but satellite pictures show what might be a large number of agricultural holdings in Burma, where blocks of foreign land are known to be traded in huge underground markets. I'm Alan Partridge. Hello. Later, we'll be showing you all the hot tennis action at tonight's big tennis confrontation. Set point for Edberg. He's got it. He's, no. That was out, surely. I can't believe it. The umpire and the computer says it's in. Let's have a look. No, definitely out. Just shows you computers can go wrong. Anyone who's seen 2001 A Space Oddity will know that when Hal refused to open the pod door. The actor Michael Caine has revealed that he has a tail. In a frank interview today, Caine described his struggle to come to terms with the tail, which is two feet long, muscular and shiny, and thrashes about when he gets angry. He said he'd only managed to keep it hidden with strong muscle relaxants and had finally decided to have it surgically removed, a decision he described as the best he's ever made. This is the best investment I ever made in my entire life. To be enlarged in our main programme, is this the man behind Britain's police? And disturbing evidence of bullying in the Church of England. The bishop was taking Colin through the steps of a christening for the next day. He then took Colin by the sort of the scruff of the neck and said, I'll show you how to do a christening. I'll sort of well show you. And he just pushed his head towards the font. That's the day to day today. Good night. Good evening, this is the day today. Here's some news. The Department of Education has announced that ugly children will be banned from schools because they put the other pupils off. A recent report shows that ugly children are unpopular, they cause disruption by being teased, and they conduct themselves in an increasingly twisted way as they become more aware of their ghastly looks. From next term, all children will be measured with a hideousness gauge designed to eliminate those who have irregular or concave faces, swollen eyelids, undersized heads, or the looks of an old man. Teachers' union leaders today welcome the regulations, adding their dismissal will also remove their parents, who are often equally offensive. Hello. It's been a big day today for the strong game of rugby. They're going to have to close again on him. They keep bringing him down. Let him go. He's saying, get out of the way. I want to play some rugby. Get, get him. Hit him. Hit him. Right, and the ball's out to West. To Kenny. Kenny's broken through. Yes, he's running. He's clear. He's saying, look at me. Look at me. I've got the ball. I've got the ball. Can you get me? No, I'm going to score. He's scoring a try. He's scored. He scored a try. And what a magnificent moment as he just ran through there and said, oh, you're not going to get me. I've got the ball. Your complaints. My complaint is about the standard of complaints in the media. Brackets notice my sentence construction is poor. Yep. The way people speak, you'd think they'd had a Brian bypass. Brain bypass. Brain bypass. Yep. And if they ever do get these pointless thoughts, close inverted commas, raise eyebrows sarcastically out, they are all too easily bulled. A bullied. 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 Sorry, yes. my mistake, bullied. Yes, how stupid of me. For lo, I am a mere gut brain surf. While you, oh, program makers, are gods. Gods, you are. Oh, gods. Oh, gods, have mercy. Later on the day today, putrid Britain. 
backstreet squalor in our inner cities today. You can only see so much. Mm -hmm. you, can only, you can only shake your head so many times. Yeah. 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 Eventually it falls off. Plus, full story on man narrowly escapes crushing beneath wheels of van. There's Alan Partridge. And join me, Alan Partridge, for the big race at Marple. The, the horse race. And Gary Lineker says why he's not happy with the new look given to him by his Japanese bosses. Well, I think it's stupid. That's the day today. Goodbye. Good evening. Stuff tonight. The Department of Health has announced new restrictions for the treatment of teeth on the NHS. Dentists will now only offer free treatment on eight teeth, and the new rules say those teeth must be nominated at birth. Health Secretary Virginia Bottomley has backed the scheme since its inception. Dentist. And says the new rules prevent dentists trying to get away with treating the eight teeth least likely to go wrong. Now time for sport with Alan Partridge. Thanks, Chris. And over at Sandown this afternoon, there was a great finish to the 3.30 Chicory Tip Incest Cup. We'll take up the race with two furlongs to go. Novelty Bubble on the inside. Novelty Bubble followed by Immaculate Pasta. Christ's Chin coming up on the inside, followed by Abba the Horse and Alf Ramsey's Porn Dungeon. Coming up the rear, Sinead O'Connor. But Novelty Bubble is holding his own with Immaculate Pasta... Christ's chin! Christ's chin! Abba the horse on the inside. Small Town Gypsy Massacre gaining ground, closely followed by Epileptic Fridge Boy. And Alf Ramsey's Porn Dungeon breaking through there. Alf Ramsey's Porn Dungeon. Alf Ramsey's Porn Dungeon. Sinead O'Connor, third. But, uh, no, it seems to me that Christ's chin and astonishing bomb queen are nowhere because... It's Small Town Gypsy Massacre, Alf Ramsey's Porn Dungeon, Sinead O'Connor. No, Christ's Chin won! I got confused. And that race was marred by an earlier incident in which champion jockey Lester Piggott fell from his horse and had to be destroyed. Environation from me, Rosie May. The government has agreed to fund further research into organically grown meat. Several farms have already developed thriving flesh beds using a synthetic pork seed imported from America. By next year, three quarters of East Anglia will be covered in meat fields. I'm Rosie May and my ducts are green. On the day today's big programme, our in situ documentary charts the relationship between staff and public at St Lamb's Swimming Pool in Acton. There was a, a young lady there who was treading water. I watched the path you took, and you swam directly into her chestal area. I'm not a cruel man. I won't inform your parents or the school as long as you undertake now not to swim into any young or middle-aged ladies' chestal area within this municipal borough. Plus, controversy as new fertility drug causes babies to be born at over 30 miles per hour. We do manage to catch most of them um, with this, but unfortunately, you know, we don't, we don't get them all. Good night, bye-bye, cheers, good. This is the day today. Hi, let's just check out this evening's main points. One, hero councillor's life ends in cow. Two, more dead bikes found by our cameras in the Bristol Bicycle Massacre. Three, and Alan Partridge has been digging the personalities of figure skating champions Lily Bowley and Jed Pistols. Uh, there was a, a lovely move you did. Um... When you were skating around, it seemed to me you were twisting her by the head, it looked. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I thought you were going to drop her and she was going to go, bang! 
but that didn't happen, thankfully. Four, your opinions on the media in Speak Your TV Brains. If somebody's sitting watching TV, is it worse if they're looking, looking, or if they're looking, looking, looking? Well, looking, looking, looking. It's worse. Mm. Five, fasten your green belts, please. It's Environation from me, Rosie May. Environation from me, Rosie May. Yup. Inmates at newly opened Belmarsh Prison are being trained to use new energy-saving hard skin burners. Every evening, the men, some of them with life convictions, will scrub the hard skin from their backs, the balls of their feet and the small area of muscle joint on the undersides of their fingers into a bowl. The dead flesh will then be burned as solid fuel. I'm Rosie May and the world is my sister. Six! It's time for detailed focus on real-life disasters in It's Your Blood. At this stage in our reconstruction, Chester Johnson fell out of the helicopter and died. Mr. Johnson was a very brave man. In the short time I knew him, he became my best friend. 14, the olden days ride again, right out of the mouths of the people who lived at a time when men were judged by their animals. Speak, woman. It depended on the strength of his, his lion, the lion he had with him. Um, he'd come to the door, and my mother would always go, not me, not me. I wasn't allowed to see him until she'd seen the lion. Usually, on the whole, it was it was good. They were good, strong lions. They were lovely beasts. Lovely beasts. I loved them all. <laughs> nice. Eight. Hey, look, Partridge has caught up with Bulgarian tennis ace Mila Milandrovic, and they're talking themselves daft. I can imagine when you were small, you were probably taken away from your parents and put in a sports camp. No, my we had the tennis school at my house, and my father was my coach. You weren't put in a sports camp and trained into a tennis machine. No, I went to school. It's normal. I, I would work a lot. And nine, that's the day today, and ain't it just the funkiest, newsiest mother sucker in the hood? Yo, bro, dance me a full stop, y'all. What? Hello, hello. America woke up this morning to the shock revelation that Frank Sinatra isn't famous. The singer issued a written statement admitting that he has never been well known and had only achieved the illusion of fame with a complex system of pulleys, screens and two-way mirrors. Mr Sinatra has agreed to dismantle his stardom in a phased operation and is expected to be utterly unheard of within a fortnight. In the day-to-day -day maxi cast, the horned schoolboy who's been banned from maths Sent him off to school, first day, and uh, he came back. School. They said, go home and don't yeah. bother coming back ever again. Don't come back. Don't come back. And people describe how they left their own bodies as near deadness set in. My friends, uh, Anna and Dave, had a party in Chiswick, and I couldn't believe it. I was having a heart attack. And I was rushed to hospital in intensive care. At this point, I was actually unconscious. Uh, they defibrillated me up to um, 200 joules, which is a hell of a lot, uh, but my heart still wouldn't start. It was then that I could actually feel myself leaving my own body.